got more snow last night and things are really coming around. It's been a slow start to the season, but it's really looking good now. So for today's ride, we're going to head down to Baysville, just about 20 minutes south of my place. And the reason we're going to do that is because the local trails in Baysville have opened. Um, my trails at my place are still closed um, because we had so much snow in a 48 hour period back at Christmas time that we had just tons of uh, trees down in the bush and the clubs have really had a hard time getting things opened up and it's been really mild for the past uh, month or so after that uh, snow from Christmas melted so um, now we're finally getting things going again here in Muskoka and um, this is the uh, beautiful drive down Brunel Road from my place down toward Baysville and uh, lots of snow still coming down. We had lots last night. We actually had quite a bit of snow the past three nights. So um, as you could see on my snow stick there, it was, uh, we're up to about 23 inches on the uh, snowpack overall. And uh, so that's really all come in the past four or five days, really. It's, it's just fantastic. Um, we had a little bit of base, but uh, most of that has come in the past four or five days. After I got fuel, I noticed that the pavilion in Baysville was open and it's just really great to see them open again. They were closed for a long time. Um, and that's a place we used to hang out a long time ago in the late 80s, 90s uh, for a, a lot of nights. So that's great to see them open again. And uh, you can see Baysville here, small town, really, really uh, snowmobile friendly. They got a gas station, they got uh, two or more restaurants, at least the pavilion and this one here, Cast Iron. Um, Great places to eat. You can drive right in on your sleds. Okay, just in Baysville here. Just got offloaded. Lots of snow. Just gonna check my mileage from yesterday. Trip A, 83.5 miles. just setting up his BRP Go on his new G5 MXZ XRS. Man, sled is just amazing. You can take that through the big stuff and it just makes you feel like you're 16 years old again. Love that sled. Yeah, so we're coming down, I believe this is B, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're on B trail, there we are. And we're right here. And we're gonna come up to where the bridge is soon. So we're, we're dying to see if the bridge is built. And uh, it looks like the club did a nice little, uh, a new sign here, cause that, that was never here before. I think that's brand new. Look at that, that's just sweet. So it's just fantastic. We got fresh snow and uh, me and Dano are, are just uh, loving the fresh snow. I mean, a week ago, we were barely even able to ride. And those are, those are some, actually that's a good looking sled. This one, I don't know, not so much. <laughs> I'm using Dano's phone here because I'm, I'm riding his sled and I just realized that that's the bridge that was out. So it looks like what they did is they just, they didn't really put a bridge in, it looks like they just filled it in with uh, fill and maybe, maybe there's a culvert underneath. But uh, I think this is, I think this is it. 
If I'm not mistaken, I think this is the bridge that was out. Because I remember two steep hills on both sides of it. Okay, so we're back to the plowed section here and we just got through the, uh, we went through the bridge and I did a little video on Dano's camera because I was on his sled. So um, we're, we're actually right at the point where the where B trail goes way down. Turn down toward Minden, that's where we're at right now. And, and, and from this point out to the lake, it's all plowed road. So we're just gonna run this out to the lake now. Okay, so we just ran down B trail onto St. Nora's and we came up St. Nora's and now we just ran the trail between St. Nora's and Raven and now we're just on Raven here. And man, that trail between St. Nora's and Raven is just mint, like just beautiful. We're flying, no bumps and it's kind of soft today, but it's fun. And uh, now we're on the officially open trails because you can see they're staked there. You can see the stakes out there. And uh, yeah, that was good. Boy, the snow was deep. St. Nora's there, eh? <laughs> that was really, uh, I was like, wow, I'm getting loaded down. I didn't want to blow a belt out there. There wasn't a lot of tracks out there. And that open, the, the little piece of open water, that was a little sketchy <laughs> where you, where you kind of go beside it. But uh, look at this, this is just fantastic. Unbelievable. Okay, we're out here on Raven Lake. Just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's all staked, the trails. And talk about Muskoka beauty. Look at that. Just fantastic. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. just got to Dorset and uh, Trading Bay restaurant just closed. Like, I don't understand it. The, the lot is plowed, but uh, obviously it's closed. I think there might be one more restaurant on the other side of the bridge possibly open. Um, they don't have the little guy in the, tr uh, the truck over here where they used to have the food truck. So, uh, man, the trails are really good, though. It's like nobody riding over this way. I know I'm not usually in any of these, but uh, just to get that gorgeous sun in there. Me and Dano out here, we're just uh, gonna be heading back soon. You can see how beautiful the, the lake is. We're on Raven Lake here, and uh, looking pretty nice. Sun came out, so I just wanted to get some footage of that. Look at those beautiful sleds in there. Yeah, we're out here on Raven. Just, just wanted to stop because the sun broke out and just such a beautiful day. Man, the trails from uh, uh, Tall Pines are in great shape. We just ran uh, below Dorset there, beautiful. And, um, too bad the Fiery Grill or, or the uh, Trading Bay restaurants closed this year. 
Um, so we're going to head over here soon and we're going to go off the at the parking lot here and we're going to try to get back down to Baysville. But man, the trails are much better and much less traffic today than, than yesterday on the Seagull. We're just, uh, I mean, look at, look at, look at what we got. We got gorgeous blue skies now. Fantastic. Gotta love Muskoka. All right, we just got back. Drove it right up the ramps. And uh, just wanted to get a, it's getting darker and you can just get the cool view of how cool this looks. Got my music up here. Got my gauges. And then I got my Garmin. Sweet setup. Gotta love it. Dano's all loaded there. We're gonna go grab some uh, some dinner at the pavilion. Sun setting over there. What an amazing day. Let's see. Let's see how many miles. Only 69 miles. That was a great ride that day. Let me know if you guys like this type of video in the comments below. And thanks for watching.